Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Dawn here. So today I'm with you with a um a make or something a little bit different. So um a life craft got in touch with me and asked me if I would like to do some products and have a play. Um and I said yes. Um so they've asked me a couple of times, so this is the first time I've said yes. Um so today I thought we would play with the earring dies. I've seen these online and I've never had um a play with them yet. Um so I was quite excited to sort of um pick them and have a play. Um I also got the wallet, I got this um bobble die and I also got this punch as well but we're not going to play with them today so I have some findings here um, and I've also got some beads some more findings and then in this bag um, I have some Swarovski beads as well which I thought might look nice on um, on the earrings so I have done some die cutting um, so when die cutting you will need two of everything um, so that you can make a pair of earrings so I am going to go with these pink ones because they caught my eye um, I mean don't they look beautiful so that is just this little die here um, so that's what we're going to make first now in my little pot of tricks we do need some jump rings so I'm going to just put some on here so I've got a couple of different styles of jump rings here I have oval jump rings and I have round jump rings but I think we're going to use my oval ones today the other thing that I have in here that actually might work quite nicely are these bales so these are pinch bales so um i don't know if you can see let's see if the camera will there we go so as you can see you would put your whatever it is that you're holding and then you would pinch that together like so so that sort of holds it in place and then just let's just turn there just at the top we have this tiny little hole which is where we would um attach a jump ring to put on a chain or we would attach um an earway to so i'm wondering whether to use these actually because i think they would look quite nice so we just pop that in there so keeping them very simple and these are going to be super light in your ears now that is one thing that it concerns me about using paper is the fact that um, I feel as though they're going to be quite light so I have some eye pins so eye pins um, you've got eye pins and you've got head pins so I'll just show you the difference between the two so your eye pins have a little loop on the end um, and they're brilliant for if you want to attach beads um, in a row together but have them as a dangle or a head pin is where it has this bottom bit here this flat bit and that means that your beads are not going to come off and then you can fill it up as long as you want put a loop on and then put it on an ear wire but you won't be able to attach anything else to it so we are going to use an eye pin in today's video um, I'm going to grab myself some ear wires out um, because we do need it. Now I get um, stainless steel ear wires but I get coated ones um, because they are hyperallergenic so they do not affect my ears at all and I've got these gorgeous um, ones which I think will look pretty with them. I'm going to go in my Swarovski crystal box. Now I do have a gemstone mix. This is on my, uh, these are actually you can get in my shop um you can get a gemstone mix and i think there's just a, a normal like um no this is um just a glass bead this is like an everyday bead one no it isn't this is a gemstone one i was gonna say there's loads of gemstones in there so pearls and stuff um you can also buy um eye pins and earways as well um just in case you were interested so let's see if i've got a couple of beads the same in here and i have um, and I'm going to use these heart beads. So these are a Jasper um, beads. So we're going to use those. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to thread this onto here. Um, I do have some pliers somewhere. Now I have no, oh, there they are. So I'm going to use my round nose pliers. Now these are a three in one plier. Um, so they do have a cutting mechanism on there. They also have a flat nose plier in between here and a round nose plier. Um, but to make your loops, you are wanting a round nose. Now what I do, I always do like um, a finger, like so I, I just pinch it between my finger and thumb um, and then I just cut it there now a lot of people don't do it that way um, it's just the way that I know how to do it and then just pinching that 
about halfway down so that it's flush there um, and then I'm going to come in and um, just do a loop now when I get to there because I want the loop to look natural let's see if we can like take it out there so the loop at all does not look natural it is not centered it just looks really wonky all I do is I just pinch it with my pliers here and um, I just bend that back like so and then bring that together and that gives me a nice loop so that's what we're going to do now I'm going to reopen that loop up um, and I'm going to grab hold of our paper bit and then close that up so this is what we're going to have so this is essentially going to be our earring but because I put the stone on it's going to give me just that little bit of weight um, with which to hopefully um, yeah now I'm going to use these these are actually sterling silver um, ear wires these ones and the other ones are um, oh, what you call it a stainless steels but these are sterling silver ones to open the ring on the bottom I'm going to do it to the side because if you pull it outwards um, you're going to make the um, metal weak there um, and it can snap so you don't want to do that so I've just popped that in there so there we have our first earring now that doesn't look straight but that's fine because we can there we go turn it so there is my first earring it does not look pretty so I'm gonna do that again so I've just got my pinch bills here and we're gonna pinch that on there like so so it's got the um, room to move um, I have this actually oh we've got an eye pin here um, so we're going to pop that on and just push that in there now some of the gemstones um, yeah they well they are the gemstones the um, drills on them there we go um, I might not be the greatest so um, that's where bee dreamer normally comes in handy which is like a round um, it's like a, your pokey tool but it's got a file on it and um, which helps open the holes up um, but you find that yeah you can get quite a bit of gemstones that do that um, but yeah most of the time if you just push your um, piece through it works so that's the first pair now I'm going to actually wear a pair of these tomorrow um, when I go out because it'll be interesting to see how they hold up I'm going out for lunch so there's my first pair of earrings I mean, don't they look so pretty so let's move them out the way um now the next ones that we're gonna do oh i've got glitter ones here um see i like these ones oh let's use the really bright blue sparkly ones but what i want to do is i want to bring in so we'll layer it up so that we've got that and then we have now it's trying to find the pieces that match together so maybe that bit and that bit maybe oh, that is that the same let's put you on there line you up yeah that looks the same and I'm thinking maybe oh what about the feather piece as well so I'm going to put that in between because there's no reason why we can't layer it up or would oh, that no I'm not liking that we can put that on with something else so yeah i'm going to try this so this time instead of using the pinch bells i'm just going to use a jump ring and let's use a round one because that's um this, that's the ones that most people are, are, are going to use um so let's open that up so again i'm just going um outwards instead of pulling it apart because if you like i said if you pull it apart it can yeah break on you so what we're going to do is i'm going to put my pieces on so we're going to go with the glitter piece first followed by the pink making sure they all facing the same way because that's what you want to do you want to have them facing the same way and then i'm going to close that up because we are going to put a bead on oh how nice is that and the reason why we're putting the bead on is because i and it, for me personally i feel like we need that weight um so that they stay in your ear and you get a nice drop so highly recommend using um using a bead for that or a few beads 
So popping them on as well and then we're just going to close that up um, like so. Oh, I'm loving how they look. Now I'm going to go with, I think I'm going to go with the Swarovski beads. And I've got some beautiful coloured ones. Um, oh, tell you what we have got, which may look nice on, might not. Um, I was thinking one of these, one of the square ones. Yeah, I think those would look lovely. Actually, what about if we add two on? Because I've got them in that colour as well. So Swarovski beads are a little bit more, well I say a little bit more, they're a lot more expensive um, than your normal beads but they are really high quality. Um, I mean they, oh actually, oh do you know what I've just seen? These butterflies, oh my goodness me, these butterflies would look amazing. I think we should have the butterflies and they are the same colour those butterflies definitely so we can use the square beads in another project now I do need just a couple of beads either side just to help make it a little bit heavier oh, which ones do we want to use I've got the milky white ones which I'm thinking could be nice um, yeah I think those ones would be lovely so let's get a couple of those out um, so yeah, um, they are a bit more expensive, but the quality of them, you, you, you can definitely tell that the quality of them is so much nicer. Um, I also have some pearls. Hmm. Um, yeah, not, uh, well, I love all the colours, but no, I think, I, I think I'm happy with what I chose. So I'm going to grab another couple of eye pins here again and we're going to use those. So I'm going to put on a little 4mm bicone bead followed by the butterfly bead and then followed by another bicone bead. So that's what we have essentially on our, come on camera, I'm wondering whether, let, do you know what, let's zoom in. Right, move this, let's zoom in because I think it'll be much better if you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. So as long as I stay in shot, so there. So that's what we've got. Now if you turn it on this back, it's got that AB coating, which is just stunning. So we're gonna cut this down like so. Um, so as you can see, it's about a centimeter worth of extra. And then I'm just going to fold it and then bend that bit back and fold it over again. But our ear wire is going to go in the top. So let me grab a couple of ear wires out. Okay. So I even have, look at this, I even have hooped earrings as well. So these are hooped ones absolutely gorgeous right I'm thinking let's do actually no let's do ball and chain one that's gonna get the other one so I'm just gonna hook that onto there um, and then we're gonna close that up using the wrong pliers so we're just gonna close that up like so it's really hard to film jewelry making which is why it's something that I've never ever well, I've only done it a handful of times on my channel. And then we have this part and all we're going to do is I'm just gonna open it up again, moving it side to side, stick that in. I just want to make sure that that's the right way before I close it. So, and as you can see, no, it's not the right way because it's going to show the, the back of it. So we want to take that out, turn it around and put it in and then grab it again and just, there we are. How cool is that? So now I'm just going to close this up by just pushing that back into place. So that is our first, um, our first earring. How cute is that? Hey, doesn't that look lovely? And because those beads are on, um, 
yeah the weight of them is nice so that's that one okay um just looking for this i'm just going to connect this on why not we're here we may as well so this is the other another way that you can do it by just connecting it straight on okay and then put that in place and then we're going to just pop on our bead sequence which is one bicorn followed by a butterfly followed by a bicorn just like so and then so like that now lady wants out oh. Yeah, husband's it's because husband's finished, so and I'm just gonna put that into a loop. Now I'm really sorry about the quality of the camera, it's sort of auto focusing, which isn't the best, I have to say. And now I'm gonna have to sort the lady out and make sure, yeah. So that as you can see, faces up front. Oh, there we go. <laughs> husband does let her out, so hopefully she can stop on the door. But I think he can leave the door open now, I think he's finished so. Um, there we go. Right, let's pull out, guys. Oh, wrong way. Actually, I could have come in about that far, couldn't I? Let's move them. So that is our... Oh, there we go. That is our second pair of earrings. How gorgeous are them? Oh, which one has uh, gone away? I think I might wear these ones tomorrow. I'm just going to pop them in and see how they feel. Actually, they feel quite nice um they look quite nice as well yeah i like them i really like them so you can make jewelry from paper how cool is that so i get to do yeah them all in one go right so we've made these um i want to make more so we will now the other die that i got was this one with the train which i thought was really really pretty um and i think I like the idea of having this one behind. Oh, actually, no, let's have the pink one behind, the big one. Okay. So we're layering them up. So I'm going to have those, and then we're going to have those just over the top of them, like that, um, so that they have a little bit of a dangle. Um, let's have a look. Do we want to add anything else? to them because I could add some blue glitter to them I suppose oh, I like those ones as well they'd look nice just as a simple plain earring so I think maybe we should do those ones as well um, we also have that sort of style as well which would also look nice um, I mean we could in theory you could do that and have them so that you've got three but yeah they're the one these ones I just don't like them and i can't see me using them at all or making them up um i just don't like them however i love the others so that one there i'm looking for oh what am i looking for guys where are you i'm looking for the um the other one to that because i really want to make that up because actually um i really like that but I can't find the other one to him. Don't tell me that it sort of, you know, jumped out when I was die cut. Oh, there it is. Die cut and I thought I might have jumped out. So, yeah, really pleased with these. I love them. But how nice is that? The other thing that we can do is we could actually add these onto a gift card or even onto a tag. So uh, these tags I had to play with. Um, and what we could do is so using the tag itself actually where's my where's my porky tool oh my porky tool's not in, the, in in its place how very dare it let me just move my beads out of the way there it is so if we just put a little hole in like so and then grab these obviously we can decorate our tags up but how gorgeous does do they look and then I've just put some backs on there to keep them on. But look at that for packaging. And isn't that just gorgeous? 
and that's use it and I mean that is just such a simple way of doing your packaging especially if you were going to sell them as well so I've got this one so let's have a go at this one so I'm just gonna pop a little hole in each side and then I'm gonna grab them and put that one in make sure that it all hangs right oh they look so beautiful so, and then pop this one in come on oh, help if I took it out the problem with sterling silver is it's quite a soft metal so there we go I mean does that look lovely that looks really really pretty so I'm going to put them up there like move them up to the side and then you've got a little hole as well in which you can sort of hang them off something right okay so um let's do these ones so the idea with these ones was i'm going to use a pinch bead again so i'm going to start off with this big one at the back the um pearlescent pink card then the glitter card with the feather followed by the mirror card um with that tree and then we're just gonna i'm just gonna pinch that together and oh you can't even see it do you know what i think we can get away without oh, i really like i think that one's going to be one where i just have it on its own but i mean i'm loving these colors together just making sure sorry i'm just making sure my pinch beads are done properly but i mean look at that how much is that isn't that just lovely do you know every time i turn this camera on that my etsy shop goes off I am so sorry. I need to pop. I'm going to just pop this on mute however I do it. I wish I knew. Um, I'm going to have to ask husband actually how do I turn the sounds off on my iPad. I know how to do it on my, um, my phone but I have no idea how to do it on my iPad. So I do apologise for that. Anyway, yeah, how gorgeous is that? oh i love it i love it right let's get the pinch bead out again and let's do this one so just pop that on pop that on and then i mean this is a really easy way of doing it um especially if you know i mean i've been making jewelry now for years and years and years it's actually the first thing that i ever um first crafting i ever did well actually technically knitting was but um not properly um i just sort of when i was pregnant with lucy i made her a blanket that was, that was about it that was as far as it went with that um but yeah so with um like i said with you know my first it was back in 2008 i started would you believe it oh i don't think the orange goes but it's gorgeous bead oh oh do you know what let's have those pink highlight ones i really like them um so yeah and i started off with a tiny little kit a tiny little um earring kit and now i have a whole stash of full um but like i said i don't really um do jewelry as much as i used to um mainly because um i'm into the paper crafting at the minute but I don't think I could ever not make jewellery. I just, yeah, I love it. So being able to combine um, my paper crafts with my jewellery is, is just amazing. Right, okay, so we're going to pop these on. Um, like so. And then I'm going to um, do a little loop before I close it. Let's pop on an ear wire right so there's that one and do you know what I'm actually going to pop on um what do you call it a jump ring between the beads and the the paper bits because I don't know why not why not okay so let's pop that in there Although it depends if it sits right. If it doesn't sit right, oh, it sits perfectly. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Right, I need another one of these. So let's do the same again. Um, there we 
there it is I was gonna say the bead has disappeared I should have got my bead mat out I've got like um I want to say it's felt but um it's a bead mat and you put your beads on it and they don't roll away it's the most amazing invention ever I love it right um so I'll pop that in there and then we're just gonna get another jump ring and yeah so you could get these guys all these products and then make lots of earrings and sell them i mean how amazing is that but you could package them as well just using off bits like you know scrap bits of card just making sure that's closed when doing your um jump rings and stuff you need to make sure guys that your um everything is closed oh look at that that's worked out perfectly as well and then I have another one here. Um, so this is the thinner tag. I would say this is more of a bookmark myself, but yep. So let's stick these in there. And there we have it. That is um, my earrings for today. I mean, how gorgeous are them? Um, I don't think I would wear these ones. I think they're just a little bit too long for myself. But I would definitely, definitely wear the other two. And I think I'm going to wear those ones tomorrow when I go out for lunch um, with, yeah, with my friends. So um, there you have it, guys. Those are my earrings made using this die. Simply, I mean, one die set. I think it was $3. I'm not 100% sure. So please don't quote me on it. But this is like, but if it was $3. And look at those beautiful earrings. Um, and then using the punch as well that I got from Life's Craft um for the packaging i mean you could you know i mean obviously you can decorate up your tags but how nice would that be to give a gift and then you could put them in like a little box or something um but oh, i love those earrings i'm looking forward to wearing them anyway that is it for today guys thank you so much for watching please do subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hopefully i will see you again in another video uh, don't forget to check out the um description box below because there is a gift um that not a gift sorry that is 20 percent off using this code um if you are to buy them so um yeah and i think especially with today um with prices going up it's always nice to get a discount isn't it um but yeah i'm gonna leave it there thank you again for watching and i will see you in another video very soon but until then happy crafting bye